Okay, hello to everyone involved in the process. So I just got off work and now I am about to have to do so many things because I'm going to leave on my journey for the heiress tour tonight and I still have to finish packing. And it's 7.25 and my flight is at 5.30 in the morning in Raleigh. So come with me to go from VK38 Baja Grill in Wilmington, North Carolina um, to Raleigh to Denver without tickets so okay so now i'm home and my mother is here and i'm about to get in the shower <laughs> she's helping me here's my reference photo of the you belong with me costume and she is my, doing my last minute um creation of this one about to do some very important iron oning excited for me you say it. yes i am yay you smell so much better than i do okay i'm gonna go get in the shower and then i'll come back okay going full Blair Witch right now. I've I've just left my place of work after I've packed, right? I left you getting in the shower, I think. I've, I went to my place of work, got some cash money, hugged all my friends that I wanted to cry because they're all Venmoing me to help me pay for my Taylor ticket. And I just think that's so sweet. So not being at my... Aw. Oh my God. I feel like the paparazzi... Oh my God, that was so sweet. That, what? All right. My necklace I bought at Target. Earlier. Little Miss. I need to it oh, it's so cute. Oh. Awesome, awesome. So do we listen to the Eras Tour set list in order? The surprise songs that have already happened or the surprise songs that are left. I have three different playlists. It feels like I don't want to know the order of the set list. Really? Really, you do? I don't want to know what's coming. I don't want to know. Should we just shuffle it? Yes. Right. Here we are in the beautiful city of Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, we are 200 miles, 100, how many miles from home? We're 112 miles from home. We're going to our little sister's house right now. And in about three hours, right? Yeah. We'll be at the airport. <laughs> yeah. And we went down some back roads. If you're wondering, we did listen to almost, not even almost all of it. We listened to the set list playlist on shuffle. So we didn't want, to, we're not conditioned in the order of the songs. And I want that element of surprise. Yeah, we don't want to. Be. We don't want that. So then we listen to the surprise songs in the left playlist. All right. We'll talk again when we uh, see our little sister. Upon entry, we realized all of her roommates in her are asleep. So we have about. It's 12:30. We have to be at least two hours to get in here. We have to be at the airport at 3:30. I got my go-go juice. I have water. Should we sleep or not? That's the question. I'm 50/50 right now. She's leaning towards no. Because I think I'll be angry. This is the smallest blanket that I have ever seen. It doesn't, you can't tell. <laughs> I'm not very dull. It's so tiny. Ew. Hi, Rachel. You look so pretty. She's the goat. She's, She's the goat. The best one of us. The best one of us. Red and dirty. Sorry, guys. So we're all in line. When I say we all, I mean me and everybody else in the city of Raleigh, North Carolina. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's just not really adding up. It's not adding up. Guys. It's not adding up. <laughs> Hazel Grace. <laughs> okay, just needed to check in with you guys to let you guys know that I've never gone to an airport before where you actually didn't need to put your liquids in a bag. Didn't need to pull out my electronics or my liquids. We just went through security in half a second. Like didn't goodness. need my boarding pass. I'm like mad about how I'm not complaining it about it. <laughs> I am. But I really would have packed differently. I've never been in an airport when it looks like this. 
does it look like? Empty, oh. off, off, sleep mode. So, flight leaves at 5.30 for reference. It's 3.56. I'm too hot for that to be true. The cute keychain. Should we get that? See something, say something. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable right now. This is the first airport I've ever been in where I'm not cold. Then a green light go, yeah, it's with the conversation when you already know. We are on the plane. We going. Denver. We going. We learning. I'm gonna go to sleep. I just popped the Dramamine and an anxiety bill. This lights out. from budget so that we have to get on a shuttle to get there because it's not at the airport it's what is budget exactly so mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. hi guys i'm in the back of the car right now taking my antidepressant because as thrilling and invigorating as this is we have to keep everything regulated what a beautiful shot. It's so, oh my God. So the plan is go to the hotel, see if our room's ready. It's probably not going to be, but we're gonna go anyway. We need to go to a CVS, and then we're gonna go to lunch slash breakfast, and then we're going to early merch. I like this song. You do? Yeah. You know who it is? I know. Spice. Ice Spice. Okay. So, so cute in here. Very pleased. The outside is kind of unassuming. Inside, very much gorge. Giving, giving convention, giving professional. Giving professional bull. Anyway. Starving. Starving. Home still says it's the time it is in North Carolina, so I have no idea what time it is right now. I, so does my watch. So what time is it right now? Uh, 9.42. Oh. Well, we have the whole day ahead of us because the time is messed up. So I feel like I really seized the day. It's because we didn't ever go to bed. We didn't do, we got no rest. This is um, our carriage for the weekend. Even though the light rail is free. Even though the light rail is free, <laughs> I said, y'all look like you're about to go hiking, sir. In vans. Sir, look at me. Well, I'm in Chacos. It could work, but this is a blouse, not a hiking tank top. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're about to be in the lot to go by merch. Right? That is, and we're like looking at the stadium, and it's getting really real, and we're starting to breathe really heavy. And like they're setting up a stage right now. Like they're setting up the stage right now. There's just like equipment and buses. I'm, so, I could throw up. I literally could freak. I literally could My jump head. a fence right now. Oh my god. The best experience ever. Look at all the people in line to get merch. Holy I love you. I love you from the very first. Oh, she's so mean. I'm sick to death. Look, this girl's alone. This queen. That could be you, Rebecca, from the back. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, the thing. Oh, bye. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Cincinnati and she said she went before the show started and she waited in line for one hour. Really? That was it? Yeah. It's getting longer. First of all, we started before the blacktop where those chairs are. And that was at 10.30. Was it? It's 12.40. We have moved. Actually, that kind lady over there counted the steps. 51 steps. 
and we still have 80 more. But now they finally did like something to, about the mosh pit. And I have taken my shirt off. And we put sunscreen on and we're burnt. It's like we're at TanaCon. Shane Dawson, I will talk to you for this. And Rebecca wishes we weren't doing this. Yup, for sure. It's bad. We really, really, I can't say it here. They're gonna fight us. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Okay, so I don't even want to talk about this right now. Our energy is very different than earlier. There was a lot I couldn't show you. Um, crazy people and our phones were dying and we were in line for four and a half hours. The blue crew neck sold out while it was in our hands. The 2XL was the only one left. We got two XLs. How could tell me I waited four and a half hours and couldn't even get what I wanted? And now, and now I'm just in shock that we did that for four and a half hours. So now we're gonna go eat because we haven't eaten since last night. And it's 3:21. It's 3:21, and the vibe is pretty bad, and we got very sunburnt. So, so sunburnt. So sunburnt. I'm in pain. Walking in the sun right now hurts. It hurts. My skin's on fire. On fire. So I'm, I'm just hoping that after we eat, everything will shift. Spirits are high. Yes, we'll come back. We already ate the buffalo cauliflower wings. We got some vegan stuff. That's a blackened tofu Caesar wrap. This is southern fried cauliflower, mac and cheese fries. But we waited too long to eat, so now our stomachs are too small. Okay, long time no talk, guys. We are in our hotel room. We showered, my phone died. Now we're gonna go eat something in the hotel bar. Hotel bar. I'm sorry. Hello. 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 Working on our finishing touches of our outfits. If you can figure out what we are going as, you are not an idiot. So. <laughs> okay, y'all, here's an update. We're just in the room watching Miss Americana. And the heartbreak prince. Uh, uh. Okay, look how cute. Oh my god. Like, don't get too close to mine because I made some errors that were out of my control due to my supplies. Rebecca's is biblically accurate. We are gonna be so freaking stinking cute. Anyway, she's supposed to rhinestone her dress a little. And I'm performing surgery on this bodysuit still. Good morning. Good morning. We're seeing Taylor Swift today. Today is the day. We woke up at 7 a.m. to listen to K. Joe Johnson. Cozy. 101.1. Cozy 101.1. The Denver radio station. Because they're doing a Taylor Swift giveaway for tickets for, with trivia. And we were like, oh, we know Taylor Swift trivia. Like, we got this. It was not about Taylor Swift. <laughs> I think I called about 200 plus times. That's what it said. And then we came down for breakfast because. We're too away to go back to sleep because we're seeing Taylor Swift today. The feeling of a small six-year-old child accidentally waking up at 5.30 a.m. on Christmas. <laughs> In my room, I'm going to start drinking a monster rehab. Yes. Mm -hmm, yes. Oh, you're not going back to sleep. This we need is, to start working on our This sleep. is news to me. You just told them we can't go back to she sleep. She told me I could get back in bed after breakfast. You can get back in bed. <laughs> I don't think I can get back in bed. So we have back to sleep. Now it's 12. <laughs> We're currently listening to Cozy 101.1 because now that it is noon o'clock. The 10th person to call when they hear back-to-back -back Taylor Swift songs will answer three Taylor Swift trivia questions. And if they get them all right, they win tickets for tomorrow. Okay, mother effers. 
we can no longer lay in bed. We open the blinds, the stress is setting in. We haven't bought tickets. We have to give in and buy tickets really, really soon. We're about to open up our monster rehabs. Wish they would sponsor me. My favorite energy drink of all time. If you guys have never had one of these, thank you so much. You should absolutely have one of these. Thank you so much, cheers. Yeah, it's good. Like an Arnold Palmer, mm, no carbonation. Oh my God, wish we had a lighter. Aww. She's helping us today. Here's my rhinestone station. We're listening to Cozy 101.1 in case we can win tickets for tomorrow. Right now, I think I need another anxiety pill. Okay, I'll, I'll check back in. I can't even think or speak right now. Even, what do I even have to say? What's the last thing I told you guys? Okay, so whatever, it worked. I got tickets, cool, that's awesome. Rebecca, <laughs> I'm really excited right now. Rosemary's like, nah, we got tickets. Well, like, we have tickets. Rebecca wasn't the one that just had to think her debit card was gonna get declined and be the reason we didn't get to go. And I had to call my bank and I tried to buy them on SeatGeek and it didn't work. And then I tried to buy them on TickPick and it didn't work. And my card got declined twice. And then I got a spam call about fraudulent activity happening twice on my card. And then I thought my card was getting declined because I was out of state. So then I called the bank and they me answer me so then i called my local bank and they gave me the number i was just called so then i called the number and then i talked to who the fuck i talked to and they said oh it's not that you're out of state it's that you have a limit on your debit card for what you can spend in a day and i've never i guess i've never tried to spend more than ten dollars in a sitting because i never freaking knew that it's the only bank i've ever been with so that's hilarious and after i did that i tried to change my limit i had to up it <laughs> so I'm just feeling a little delirious right now. So then I bought the tickets and then I called my mom to let her know, oh my God, the weight is off my shoulders, which is what Rebecca is currently still experiencing. But then I had a second wave of mind blowing anxiety that I had been scammed because the second I tried to click on the transfer from Ticketmaster, it was like, oops, something went wrong. Oops, something went wrong. Oops, something went wrong. Oops, something went wrong. I was like, uh, 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 uh. what went wrong? And aren't they real? What went wrong and how and why? And I literally thought I just spent dollars. If anyone's wondering what I freaking spent, I know everybody wants to know what I spent so bad. Um, I thought I spent it to a scam artist. So that I had I had to hang up on my mom, and I had a bigger panic attack than I've had for any reason this entire time. And it was the shortest one, and it was very it was a very intense uh, wave of panic and nausea. So we're in the hundred level. They're obstructed view seats for dollars. Um, but it's gonna be fine and Griggs will be there and I'm not upset about it. I'm really not. Everything is actually fine and I'm gonna get really excited very soon. I just can't believe this is happening because I did all this research and I waited all this time checking how cheap they get in the evening right before it happens and I've told myself that we're gonna like buy them outside of the stadium when they're as cheap as humanly possible. And it's a good thing we didn't do that because then the bank phone call and all that would have been horrible. If you guys can tell I'm just spiraling right now running through my what ifs and what might have happened. But um, Rebecca keeps telling me I'm not allowed to look at what they're gonna end up costing later because knowing is worse than not knowing, I guess. But I kind of still wanna look because tomorrow I don't know what we're doing to get tickets for tomorrow. So the awesome thing is, is that I get to stop being stressed out for today and then I get to go tomorrow and still have to do this again. So that's awesome. Anyway, what do you guys think the surprise songs tonight are gonna be? I'm, I'm really hoping for right where you left me. I think that's what I deserve because I keep saying this is what I deserve for things. We also didn't win those tickets with the hard question. The hard yes. trivia questions well, were like, for who my here, ready? I'm gonna I'm role play it back to Rebecca. I can't see anything. Okay, what year was Taylor Swift born? 1989. It's one of her album names. Okay, good. You're doing great, girl. What two albums in order came out in 2020? Folklore and Evermore. Yes, girl, you're so close. You're almost there. Oh my god, name two of Taylor Swift's cats. Olivia and Meredith. Yes, girl, we won two tickets. You've got to be kidding me. Last night, I was studying like I was about to enter the scholastic decathlon of so many psychotic trivia questions that I was getting right. So that's just sick and twisted. So we have said, we deserve this. This is going to happen. And so many of those things just have not happened that I'm like, is it because we're getting right where you left me? Feels like that has to be what it is. Yep. Anyway, um, get ready with me. I'm about to start my get ready with me process. So tonight we're wearing our You Belong With Me outfits. We have to You TikToks. can see the eye. Okay, Rebecca's gonna kill me for in here any longer, but I forgot we were vlogging completely right now. And I just wanted to update you guys that we're ready to go. 
Okay guys, we just got to a parking lot. We were gonna park, like, we assumed we were gonna park, like, in a deck or something. At least that's what I thought we were gonna do. Same. Thanks. We found this little guy on the street that was, like, parking $20 over here. So now we're three blocks from the stadium. We can see the stadium from here. It's $20. Hey, that's not the worst thing. So now Rebecca's putting her 13 on her hand. I just did mine. Over right here, it's 5.52. And not to be a fake or a hater, but I don't really care to get in there at 6.30. Right? Back me up. Yeah, I don't give a <laughs> I'm here to see Taylor Swift. If that was unclear to anyone, it was your misunderstanding. We've I'm... also seen Muna before. I think we told you guys that. And it's not a memorable... I'm quite a fan of J.J. Abrams. That's the only Abrams that I'm familiar with. Yeah, no shade to Gracie. We made it, y'all. We made it, y'all. We were walking to the stadium. What? What? Literally, it's right there. We can see the screen. Yeah, I'm about to show you guys. Look. Okay. You can literally see the screen. You can see Gracie out there. Y'all see Gracie? Gracie. We're inside. We're inside. <laughs> my fantasy. Tacos. They, that smells good. Oh, my God. Are eating here? Oh my god. We are not going to be able to weasel that from the bar from last night and then pan down and then come up to the Oh, you must. tonight i hope that any time that you hear these songs out in the world you're gonna think about tonight and the memories that we made here on a friday night in denver
such a long time. And because I feel like if we're, if, you know, Debut. I don't know, just in in the spirit oh of nostalgia, oh my God. we should be um, exploring all the eras, you know, including like my first. Ah! thoughts to share with you yet due to my brain not working but there was a sick psycho ass mofo outside the stadium going blue crew necks for sale they're sold out inside blue crew necks and I had a bag full of that blue crew neck that everybody wants so damn bad and I, and I think that is sick and rude and mean and criminal of him criminal someone should arrest him criminal that is up sorry oh my god the are really hi guys being so real with you without my eyebrows on right now. We haven't showered yet. We just sat here and watched our videos. We smell so bad. My feet and her feet in a contest for stinkiest feet in the world. It was so beautiful. I want to say that I'm so grateful to Mother that she plays the entirety of the folklore songs. All of the words. Period. That is true. She did Period. That for us. And oh. the only one she shortened... It was amazing. You should go if you can go. Like, it wasn't the seat of my dreams, but I was there. It was the experience of my dreams. I was there, and I was crying. So, yeah, we're going to shower, and I don't know, but eat. I'm really having a hard time, guys, because I think I'm going to ditch my outfit tomorrow, and I don't know what to do. The thing is... Is that I took so Whoa. long to make it's this. It's honestly, it's really sad because it's heavy and I want it to die. Right it's now. gorgeous. And it took me so long. And show the boots. I started the boots today. Oh. And I ordered the skims that are ruining my life for that outfit. And I bought a pair of tights. And I bought a pair of fishnets for over my tights. That's just doing too much. Like, I was in hell, you guys. I was in physical hell during this whole concert. Couldn't breathe, can't breathe, still can't breathe. I think it was off. Um, I was fine. The, obviously, she's in pajamas. <laughs> the whole time I was thinking, I would be so much better off not wearing anything tight tomorrow. Even if I don't wear the skills, I got tights on. Like, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, guys. What do I do? What do I do? Go ahead and show what happens when you jump. I don't think I can. Because your titties will be out online? <laughs> Close one. That's so cute. Is it worth it? It feels like, I mean, first of all, my pinky toe is about to bleed right now. No way. Like, it hurts so bad, but this foot doesn't feel like that at all, so I don't know what that's about. Why I'm, did I do this? I'm, I'm, on, right I'm on board for the t-shirt. Why did I do this and I'm not going to wear it? This is gonna be interesting. For fun. How do, it wasn't any fun! <laughs> How do I justify that I did this? Put it on. 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 Put it on.
the clips don't exist. I don't know why I said it like I effed up the clips. They've never existed. So I wanted to change my outfit because I was so uncomfortable on the first night. You all saw that. And we vlogged so much inside of Walmart. We were like, oh my God, Walmart fashion slays. Like, oh, tell them what we're doing. Like we were going to make shirts that said folk whore and ever whore something stupid we were gonna be like oh my god we're like si the sister albums and we're sisters and like this is perfect and i was gonna wear my thigh high boots with a big t-shirt and feel like ariana grande what for whatever reason and then we were looking at the actual dresses and we were like we can be like folklore and evermore in real life like let's just be like wearing flowy dresses from walmart instead like oh, thank god okay and i have some clips of that and i'm sure i'm putting them in here so guess what we're doing guys Something silly. Something so silly. We are driving to Walmart right now to buy t-shirts <laughs> to our completely different outfits than we planned to. <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. And it's a beautiful 70 degrees right now. It's like I want to play outside. Rebecca just said something really profound. I want her to say it again for the people in this Walmart, this holy ground. I said, after all is said and done, I absolutely cannot believe that our Aero Store outfits are coming from Walmart. Like this And they're gonna like, eat. So good. I have I a t-shirt. I could can... not be more excited about it. Like, I'm more excited than I ever was for the other ones. What's so wrong with us? So me. For why I filmed so long in there, I don't know. We were so confident. So our plan the second night was, we're gonna buy tickets at the last possible moment even though on the first day we did it in the afternoon, but I was like, no, on the second day, we're gonna buy them the last possible second because that's when they're gonna be the cheapest. So I am at fault here. It takes two to tango. My sister and I both made some mistakes. Um, So I don't know if this is mentioned. I haven't rewatched any of these clips because they're traumatizing. Um, The first night when we were in the car waiting to walk to the stadium, tickets were getting so cheap, like less than $1,000 for a floor seat. And I wanted to like eat shit and die because we already got tickets. And I was like, tomorrow, mm -mm, tomorrow we're going to get that $800 floor seat. Ooh, be it as it may. Um, I'm very cool talking about how much the tickets cost, but Rebecca says she doesn't ever want anyone in her life to know. So I'm either going to bleep the prices or I'm not. But the first night we each spent dollars on those tickets that were like side view which was the actually the better experience so anyway i'm getting ahead of myself so we get ready okay guys so we're about to go out to the car just got to show you what we're wearing really 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 fast i know you didn't see this coming i am folklore and this is my sister and yes bitch evermore evermore the best 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 besties to the rusty in my Chalk chalks. Oh wait, I don't have my shoes on. My entire outfit head to toe brought to you by oh the people of Wall Bombs. My favorite part of my outfit tonight is my Taylor Swift ring. You're welcome. Thank you. Here's my shoes. Slay. I got little space buns. She's wearing a braid. We're folklore and evermore. We're so happy. And honestly, I'm so ugly. Like I should have slayed. Like I really just sent everything off like anyway okay guys i'm about to get on ox so i can't really talk to you guys in real time updates but right now so what we're gonna do on the way there is basically be shopping for tickets while we're in traffic yep so wish i could really keep you guys right here and tell you everything that's happening because i look so oily my makeup is aqua four you don't look oily you look glossy and glowing like a queen i look dry she's so nice to me um dry. you look beautiful do you guys get it? We're sisters, so we're folklore and evermore. We're sisters! That's so cute! Anyway, my goal is that this vlog ends up being like somebody's guide to like, just go and you will get tickets. There are people still talking to Rebecca and I both being like, so are you still, are you still going, going the second night? You're still trying to get tickets for, for the second night? Like, yes, and I've yeah. always told you guys I'm going both nights and I'm going and I believed it long enough that I know what's gonna happen. Do you see me on the way there? It's because I'm going. Literally, what do you mean? I'm going and I'm getting tickets at the last minute and I studied for this and I know it's gonna work out and I will update you guys. Yes, Rebecca just saw this food truck and said, ooh, powered by besties. <laughs> powered by Basitos. I have Wernicke's aphasia. <laughs> it causes you to speak in jumbled word salad that others can't understand. <laughs> this is my second aphasia. <laughs> I discovered it. I have aphantasia. I can't see images in my head. Okay, Rebecca. 
A likely story. Likely story. <laughs> if you have aphantasia, please comment. Hey guys. You're so <laughs> stupid. I hope you all heard that. That's my really nice sister talking to me. So we're in the parking lot now and we're just looking at ticket prices. It's what time? I can't read analog watches. Right back, right back. There Five, go the Asia. 5.30. <laughs> it's 5 30 no free fee get out of here so we're just looking at ticket prices and watching people walk inside they definitely have tickets already excuse me uh -huh. some of them probably don't probably don't it's going to work we get there and we're in the car looking at prices i see these two tickets that are there's a piece or something and they're for row nine section D at the end of the stage. And I'm like, row nine, like, ooh, we need to just buy them. Let's just buy them. And Rebecca is like, no, no, no. Like, I really don't want to spend that much. And I'm like, girl, you said we were using your credit card the full way. You said you were paying off your credit card so that we could use your credit card to the max, which was so like, why wouldn't you want to piece on these two tickets for the best night of our lives and she's like no like let's wait and I'm like okay let's wait make me really anxious then she's like I don't want to sit in the car anymore like let's go sit in the grass and I'm like okay okay we're going to walk in because not I in because we can't get in yeah. um because Rebecca has to piss total Becca piss vibes girl. go piss girl okay everyone Rebecca's oh, peeing yeah. we're right by the stadium but as you know we can't go inside yet because we're still looking at the ticket prices. It just feels so stupid now. The story feels embarrassing now. We're in the grass and we're on SeatGeek and they're not getting cheap enough. So I have her card information on all of my ticketing accounts on my phone. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna find the tickets and I'm gonna figure this out for us. And it's like not allowing me to do it on my account. I don't know if it's because it's like my name with a different card. You would just think that wouldn't matter. But something was wrong where I was like, you have to use your phone and you have to do it, okay? Stay with me. So she gets on her phone and she finds these two tickets and she buys them. It works. Money's immediately out of her account, mm, but there's no tickets and there's no email. And she's like, I'm getting nervous. Where, where are these tickets? Because the day before we instantly got our tickets, but we didn't use SeatGeek the day before. We used TickPick. And it was a dream, to be honest. She's contacting the service person from a different country um, no shade, but there was a, there was a, um, language barrier and they were like, they can't send you the tickets because the tickets are for an event that already started or did never exist or something. And like, technically the event had started because our goal was to go on, go in right before Taylor gets on stage because we didn't care about the opening act. So technically the event had started, but also Taylor didn't go on for like another hour-ish plus. So we were like, that doesn't make sense. Like the tickets are still for sale. Like that's not the reason. And then they were like, the tickets apparently weren't real or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But the tickets weren't real. And she spent <laughs> on them, which was all of the money we had to spend. And she was like, well, I need a refund right now. And they went, unfortunately, you can't get a refund to your account until 24 hours go by. And we were like, this can't be happening, but we have no money to spend because we spent all of our real money the day before. All of our cash, all of our liquid real money was spent the day before. Like we weren't going in if this credit card had no money on it, we weren't going inside. And I didn't fly to Colorado to be someone in the parking lot. I didn't. Rebecca starts crying. I probably have clips of that. I think I recorded her crying one time, but I'm not sure which part of the story it's from. So, Whatever, I'll just show her crying face for a second for fun. Be vlogging! Go my face! But I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually okay. laughing, it's just really great. Here. It's not. Oh. It's funny now, it wasn't funny at the time. She felt so bad and so stupid and like she ruined everything and it was really not looking good. I called my mom immediately, or I called my stepdad, her father, whatever. And they're so, like, they're just so kind. Like they were like, you guys deserve to go in. We're gonna go ahead and let you use our cards and you can pay us back the way you were gonna pay yourselves back. Like, mwah. I'll, I, and my stepdad is, he's talking to me because he can't talk to Rebecca because Rebecca's bawling her eyes out. And he's like, I'm gonna send you your mother's card information. I'm like, okay, bye. I'm putting it in my Apple Pay. I'm putting it in my accounts. Okay, 
try to buy two tickets um declined i used try it for my apple pay version mm, declined i'm like um can you please tell them i'm not fraudulent activity calls the bank we're waiting we're waiting and i'm like these tickets are going to be gone you don't understand like the clock is ticking like she's going to be on stage soon like what is happening right now and they finally tell the bank that it's not fraudulent activity and i try again and it still declined and i was like okay guess i have to die now because i'm not gonna go inside and then all of a sudden rebecca's like the money's back in my account i have all the money back on my credit card and we're like oh oh my god like oh my god oh my god oh my god so then she panic panic on sea geek panic two floor tickets should i just buy them should i just buy them like what the we have to go inside and i'm like buy them buy them whatever i don't care buy them okay immediately she gets a confirmation email your tickets are ready we jump up i had to try it like five times i'm sick i'm gonna throw up did it work i'm gonna throw up did it work i'm gonna throw up i'm sick i'm sick i'm sick i'm sick this is what happened i'm to me. sick oh, i'm sick what I'm do i sick. do it's do I go to my app? It's loading. Do I go to my app? No, don't move. <gasps> stop, stop. It's not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> you, We're not there yet. you are so traumatized. <laughs> We're not there yet. I'm not convinced. These people don't. <laughs> I might have a clip of this moment of time. We jump up. We're so excited. We're running towards. We're on the pavement now. We're out of the grass. We're running and then she looks at her email and it's one ticket. She's like, what? I bought one. Oh my God, I bought one. I bought one ticket. I didn't buy two tickets. She's like, I didn't buy two tickets. I bought one ticket. For <laughs> for <laughs> so I'm like, how did you make that mistake? But I immediately just, I'm like, okay. We go back, we sit in a different patch of grass with all these people that are happy. They brought their chairs to sit outside. Like, I'm sorry, but we were gonna have to leave because that was not gonna be me because I wasn't gonna be happy to be outside because I was supposed to be inside. No. Okay, so call my stepdad back and I'm like, Rebecca's out, all her money. She accidentally bought one ticket. He's like, you need to sell that thing. We're like, well, duh, but except nobody's gonna buy that thing for the price she just paid when she goes on stage in five minutes. So are you kidding me? And he's like, I'll tr let's try like my credit card. And I'm like putting his card information in. It's horrible. Rebecca is like screaming, crying, throwing up. Like bawling her eyes out. God bless her. She's like, I ruined it for you. You have to go inside. I was like, I honestly don't want to go inside because I don't want to owe you grand for this row 30 ass seat that you bought me. And I'm not trying to sound spoiled, but this row 30 ass seat that you panics purchased is not worth to be alone. I'm not going inside either, crazy. So, um, my stepdad's card doesn't work on my stuff. It just declines and declines and declines. So I'm like, okay, thanks for trying. Guess we're not going inside. Thank you so much. We're sitting there. When I tell you, it's a cruel summer. And everyone's just singing and having fun. And I'm like, she's on stage and we're not in there. Like, this is my life. Like, I want to die. I want to die. Rebecca wants to die for a totally different reason. Rebecca wants to die because of her financial problems she's created for herself. And she feels like an idiot. And like she let me down. I just want to die because we're not inside. Like I just hate my life so bad. Like my dreams have been crushed. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't sit here. I'm about to get start getting angry and I'm about to start crying. And I'm not going to cry the way you've been crying for the past hour in front of all these people. Sorry, I can't do it. Um, I don't want to hear her from out. Like it was just like too close like I we were too close and I was a clown thinking we were going both nights and I was humiliated and I was sad and I was I didn't want to hear all the fun from the outside like I just didn't give a shit to sit in the grass for three hours like I, oh, I was like we have to go we're walking down the cement and I'm like how did you seriously not notice the quantity with the price like why was for one like what did you miss like what did it say when you on your order like did you go back and look she was like no like i'm so stupid like take my phone like i don't even want to look at it again like i'm such an idiot i can't figure this shit out like just take my phone and i was like okay get away from me genuinely i was like get away from me i'm like over here and i'm like get away from me she goes and just stands so much further than this but she's just like this crying and shaking just listening to me being mean to her because she feels so bad 
and I look at her phone and I go in her email and 10 seconds after the first email went through with the one ticket, a second email with the second ticket came through and we could have been inside the whole time. <laughs> We could have been inside the whole time. She bought, she did buy two tickets. They were just in two separate emails and she has her email notifications turned off. They're 25 and mine are wrong. And she just didn't see the other email and we actually did have two tickets. So I was like, you're a idiot. You're a idiot. You're a idiot. You're a idiot. We have to go right now. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm not really angry, but in the moment there was something inside of me while trying to not have it inside me, it was still present. Anyway, her and I have some trauma. If you um, were to explore further back on this channel, I have a story time about when I saw Harry Styles with her and our seats were flipped and she made eye contact with Harry Styles and I looked at the back of his head. And to this day, she's like, you ruined that for me because I can't enjoy it because you're so traumatized. So it, it was like a triggering situation where she was like, now I've ruined Taylor Swift. Anyway, we run to go inside. I think I have a clip of us trying to go inside. We like tried to go in the way we went the first day. They're like, oh, you're gonna hate us, but for the floor, you have to go on the other side of the building and then to the Run, we're running, shoes are gone, shoes are off, running. <laughs> and they're like, mm, you have to go down all these stairs and then go around back a little bit further this way and then go under into the tunnel for the floor. We're like, oh my dear God. <laughs> Sorry to head to the right. Vlog if I could tell you what's going on right now. I don't want you to tell them. <laughs> couldn't really think anymore. And then I'm like, I need a drink. We didn't drink the first night. I was like, it wasn't necessary. But I was so angry the second night. And I know need a drink is like, you only say that if you have a drinking problem. But I wanted to kill myself. And we were already so late that I was like, F my life, I want a tequila shot. Um, we get some waters. They're like, we have to open them and pour them into cups since you're on the floor. And I'm like... Make it make sense that you're about to hold, hand me a 32 ounce cup of water for me to jump and scream at this concert in my floor seat? I was so freaking pissed. I was, I dumped half of it in, on the ground. I was like, I don't even want this. Oh, I was rotten. I was rotten, y'all. I was ungrateful, okay? We get in the stadium and we're like looking for a seat and I can just see where my seat is and I'm like, I just know, I just know that like some tall person's gonna be in front of me. I'm not actually gonna be able to see because we're the, like one of the last rows of the floor. And I'm, I know this sounds like I'm so ungrateful and I swear that I'm not. So many things just went wrong. Like this just didn't have to be the way it happened. That's why it's annoying. I, I, I'm, I swear I'm grateful, except this experience has caused Rebecca to say she like doesn't wanna see Taylor Swift again because it's so triggering her. When we got home from this trip, Rebecca was like not okay for weeks. Like she was having panic attacks and arguing with her boyfriend that had nothing to do with him because of how triggered she was from this experience. So now sometimes when she thinks about a Taylor Swift concert, she's like, it just really wasn't, I pr I'm not trying to be a brat. It was very traumatic, okay? We're walking in and Rebecca's like, just take it in, look, she's right there. Cause we're on the floor. And she's like, look, she's right there. And she's singing my favorite GD song, The Archer, at the end of the stage. The Archer, I've been the prey. Who put, like, at the end of the stage. And I, I look and I'm like, cool. I regret that a lot, but I, I should have just stayed still. I, I regret, I felt, I just, I felt like if I was on the floor walking to my seat or walking out to the bar, but I stayed still to like get a good view and stare at her, that someone would have come up to me and been like, hey, keep it moving. Like go to where you paid for. And I, I couldn't handle, I'm very afraid of authority. I'm very afraid of confrontation. I don't like asking for help. Like the thought of someone coming up behind me, not knowing what I just went through, telling me to keep it moving or something. Like I was like, I can't like, cool. I know she's there, bestie. I know. And I want to get my tequila shots. I'm pissed. So we went inside, we got our tequila shots. And then we were like, well, nobody's at the effing merch line because she's on the effing stage. So you bought more merch. Fearless started and we were like, <laughs> it was mostly me. Do I regret it? Like, no, because if I could take anything back and like, oh, I wish I would have heard you belong with me again. Like, yes, but no, like I wish I would have heard Cruel Summer and the entire Lover set. So I didn't really, like cutting my losses, like we made it to our seats. 
And the people next to us were like, you guys just missed a proposal in our row. Love story. I was like, I'm happy to them. If you're somehow here watching this, I'm happy for you. But personally, I don't like those proposals. They really cringe me out. So good thing I wasn't there. Evermore started. much shorter the second night I, I wonder why so yeah here's my clips and my footage from the second night One, two,
guys, I know you've missed a couple chapters, but now we're just watching the fashion show. We have a front row seat to the Eras fashion show. It's a little bit better than my seat to the Eras store. <laughs> Rebecca, tell the vlog what we're doing. Let's see, we're walking around to all the tickets that we saw that we could have afforded, that we could have bought, but we didn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I will also insert a picture of my my view. Like my view in my videos looks like so good at times. Like during the surprise songs, I'm like, that's a great video. I can't believe I took that. But in reality, if I wasn't tiptoe. I'm not kidding the entire time that my view was this. My view was this. My view was this girl's cowboy hat that she never took off. And anytime they would sit down in front of us, we'd be like, oh God, please stay seated. Holy shit. Like, I hope you hate folklore. Please sit down. Let me see. God, please. Didn't work. Girl next to Rebecca was on Instagram during All Too Well. Like, what the actual Get out. You beat me in the Ticketmaster War. Get the out of here. The girls in front of us to the left, we were screaming so hard. Rebecca's convinced that they were like being funny. I don't feel like it was funny, okay? We were screaming, losing our minds at folklore. And one of them turned around and was like, I'm scared. Like, okay. And that's what happened. And that's why I have no footage because it was a mental crisis. Oh, 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 to, tying it back in really fast. The price, remember those tickets in the car? <laughs> was a piece and they were row nine on the floor and we could have bought them before we even made it to the grass. That is the same amount of money we spent on row 30 seats after being traumatized for an hour and a half. Do I just think we should have bit the bullet in the car and that I was right? Yes. But I guess how could we have known? And who was I to say? And it's Rebecca's credit card. And I still owe her from this experience. So that makes me feel very good all the time that I'm on a payment plan for my sister. That makes me feel great. And she's traumatized by it. <laughs> thank you for helping me to make my dreams come true, Rebecca. Thank you so much. And I have nothing, I have no footage after either. I don't think, I think we were so beat worn down. Hi vlog, it's us. We're back in the hotel. I didn't show them anything. And I don't want to talk to you guys right now due to the raging, ungrateful negativity in my brain. I need to sleep on my thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts like concert etiquette, blah, and like the aerosaur and the science behind it and fans and them caring about the wrong, caring about the wrong things and how nobody there seems to be there for the right reasons and how I'm annoyed by everything in my view. And I can't even, comp I don't want to complain, so I have to sleep on it. We have a big travel day tomorrow. So the odds of me recording anything else with Rebecca are very slim. And I will just be filming a recap, most like more than likely. Right? Yeah. I can't relive it. I have fun at the concert though. It was really traumatizing. That sounded sarcastic. It did, and I it, didn't but it like it. It was true. I have fun at the concert though. For real. The travel day after was like we went to bed, we packed and we went to bed. We were asleep by like 2.30. We had to get up at four. Um, we made it back to Raleigh around like noon or something. We had lunch with my sister and then we had to drive to Moorhead City. Irrelevant detail except it added like six more hours onto our travel day. So the vlog just really does abruptly end. So I don't know what to end this on with you guys. If it will be me talking right now and I will have spliced everything in if it is. You've reached the end of the story. Um, best two nights of my life, I guess. Like, I would have died if I didn't go to the Ares tour, so. And, and, and the beginning of this vlog was fun, right? Like, it was so fun. It's just the second night really weighs down the memory, even. It really does. Um, my prayer candle, they, they took my bag from me in the airport because they thought this prayer candle was something suspicious. But it's where I keep all of my friendship bracelets. <laughs> Rebecca wears them like jewelry. Should I wear one with my outfit? I'm going out. And by the way, 
I'm going out tonight. Oh, for my birthday, like two days after we got home, I made everyone dress up like the heiress tour for my birthday dinner. I will put some pictures of that, maybe. And I wore my bejeweled outfit that I was supposed to wear. So that was cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.